All right. Um, well, good afternoon. Um, obviously, a disappointing loss that we had on Sunday, but um, we've got another opportunity to go ahead and get uh, back on the horse and uh, get after uh, the Seahawks. But uh, we've got a great challenge in front of us, and uh, we've had a good uh, practice uh, yesterday, and I look forward to the challenge uh, that the Seahawks bring um, here at U.S. Bank Stadium. But very excited to have our fans uh, at the U.S. Bank Stadium, and uh, they bring a, you know some energy and uh, uh, a real advantage for us, and so we're looking forward to that on Sunday. Ryan, everybody knows that a lot of kicking is mental. From a mental aspect, how do you kind of handle Greg Joseph this week after the tough miss uh, you know, last week? Yeah, I mean, it was a tough miss, obviously. I mean, we didn't get the outcome that we wanted, and we know he can go ahead and make those. But, um, you know, it is one kick, and we're, you know, we're building on that, and we're moving forward. And uh, the next biggest kick is his next kick. And so that's how we approached it. Uh, we got the full confidence in him that, that he's going to achieve and have great success, and that's what we're looking forward to. Anything mechanical that happened both on that missed kick and the extra point? Like, was it something cold, something with the snap, or was it just simply you missed a kick? Yeah, no, it, there was not. I mean, we've talked about a couple things, but, uh, you know, it boils down to, you know, we just got to approach every kick the same mentally, and uh, we go in there. It doesn't matter if it's a game winner, if it's the first kick of the game, PAT, long field goal. Uh, we're going in the same mentality. Um, but the most important thing is that upcoming kick is the most important kick, and that's how we. We're approaching it, and we just got to be consistent with that. But, yeah, nothing mechanical. D. Westbrook had some returns, and then obviously had that one that he fielded that got taken backward. What did you think of his day? Yeah, um, you know, I thought I, I like his aggressiveness, but we need to understand those situations, especially where the ball was when they punted it, and then they had a big punt on that, and so that brought him inside the 10-yard line. Uh, we, we need to understand where we are on the field, obviously, and he knows that. Um, he was trying to be aggressive with it, but uh, we understand that we need to go ahead and allow that go ahead and bounce and uh, get a touchback on that. But the first return that he had, I thought it was great. He got set underneath the ball and, and had a great return. We just unfortunately had a you know, block in the back on that. So we got to be smart on those situations that you know, we're, not having, we're not penalizing our team in terms of you know, having illegal blocks on that, and we got to clean that up. Because that's one thing we've always stressed is about playing penalty free. With a guy coming off an ACL, didn't play in the preseason. Is there just some element of rust, just to knock off there with him? You think? Or? You, you know, I, I don't say. I mean, maybe a little bit, but uh, you know, I like where he's at right now, and um, you know, he's getting back in the groove, and uh, he brings a different dynamic to our team, and he really gives us a chance to score on every time we touch the ball as a return uh, unit. We just got to make sure we do a great job of knowing where we're on the field, and uh, he understands that. And uh, moving forward, I don't see that being an issue. Um, you know, did put us into a tough situation, but we're, we're going to learn from it. We did learn from it, and now we're going to build on and, uh, you know, have some great success moving forward. What do you make of sort of the, the disappearance of the kick return in the NFL? I mean, it seems like almost every time it's going out of the back of the end zone, but you still have to obviously prepare for those situations. Um, I guess, would, would you like to see it back, more opportunities for your returners? Uh, well, yeah, obviously, I think it would be great, you know, for the game to go ahead and do that. But uh, that's what it is right now. And, uh, you know, we got to make sure we go ahead and impact our team in, in this game moving forward in a positive manner. And when we do get those opportunities to return those kicks, that we actually having successful returns. And uh, we got to take advantage of those situations. And then uh, we, so we just got to be ready and prepared to strike when that opportunity arises. And uh, I, I believe our team will. And we, when that, given that opportunity, we'll go ahead and uh, have positive returns. This admittedly might be a really dumb question, um, but is there anything with like field goal kicking where sometimes a longer one might actually be easier than a shorter one where kind of like in golf, a full swing wedge might be a little easier than like a half swing 50 yard shot or something, or is that make yeah. no sense? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a good question. But um, the way we try and approach it is that every kick's the same. I mean, in terms of, I know it's easy to say that, but we want them to all carry the same weight. So we're we're having that consistency with the mind, mental makeup when we will go out there that, all right, we'll still have the routine of what we're going through, our reminders and everything. And so, because he has the ability to go ahead and, and uh, to kick all, all kicks uh, and he's got the strength and he's got the, he's got the great legs. So we can go ahead and, um, you know, achieve that. We just gotta make sure we, we do it consistently and we approach it every kick, you know, the ex exact same way, you know, moving forward. The fact that all four of his misses in the preseason regular season have been wide right, is there any Thing you will look to correct that specifically? No, I mean, it's just, again, I mean, I, I believe that he's got that ability to go ahead and make those kicks, and he knows that too, and we all believe in him. Um, you know, it's just approaching those kicks just like he did in those 52 yarders that he drilled in the, in the previous week to send us in overtime. We just got to have that same approach and the same uh, uh, makeup We're going out there and then, uh, kicking those kicks, and, and he can do that, and he will do that. Do you have an appreciation for getting to watch a 62-yarder go in, even though it's the different team? 
Uh, no, I don't. No, sorry. I mean, I got to be honest with you. I mean, I mean, yeah, that was a great kick by him, and he came through with that. But uh, no, I would like to see our our, our team uh, making those 62 yarders uh, in those situations. But no, I, I wouldn't have been uh, disappointed if he would have missed it.